That would be nice. Thank you, Scott. With all the steady rain this morning, flooding is a concern, especially for residents and businesses along the Milwaukee River. Yona Gavino talked to one business owner who's keeping an eye on the water. You won't see a lot of sandbags stacked up here in Thienesville, but last year it was a different story. Dennis Mialopoulos stacked sandbags all around his flower shop last spring. Luckily, the Milwaukee River stopped just short of the barricade. He's been monitoring today's forecast closely. Right now we're okay. I mean, I heard that things were flooded and I was kind of scared to see what my store was going to look like coming in this morning. The village emergency management director tells me there probably won't be a need to sandbag today. Despite the flood warning, he hasn't been flooded with calls. I've only received one call, and that's probably from our business that, that is the closest to the river. He says none of the roads are underwater, so they're all open. Still, he's keeping track of when the Milwaukee River will crest. They're predicting overnight tonight. For now, the floral shop owner will be filling vases and not sandbags. If it keeps raining, that could be another situation, so we're just going to play with by ear and see what we have to do. Dennis hopes he doesn't have to sandbag because he has a busy week of Easter decorating ahead of him. In Thienesville, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. And the village will have empty sandbags and shovels available for any residents and business owners who may need them. The heavy rain also causing some traffic headaches early this morning. The on-ramp at I-94 to or to go westbound on I-94 from Highway 100 had to be shut down about 4 o'clock this morning. Construction crews pumped out about two feet of water. The on-ramp reopened at about 8.30 this morning. For up-to-the-date weather alerts in our area and weather resources, you can head to TMJ4.com.